All right, and these are your primary time references. Tell us about them. Uh, we've got two 5071 Alpha cesium beam references. We, the plant number 183 is our prime, primary standard here. Yep. Uh, and this one's used as a cross reference for, for it. We is, is the primary one better? Has it got no. better performance? It's just an arbitrary no, no, choice it's, it's which one you choose, yeah. right? Um, okay. And it, 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 do, it gives us a backup as well. Right. But it also, um, they're cross-checked to the GPS system. Mm -hmm. The GPS system um, has, a, has uh, their time to cross the, across the satellite network. The GPS receiver puts out a one pulse per second uh, pulse. So does a cesium. Each day we measure the drift between the one pulse per second on the GPS and the one pulse per second on our cesium and determine the drift between those two systems. Just the phase difference between Yeah, just yep. the, the phase change between that, that one pulse per second. Do you monitor that continuously over um, the day or is it spot We do it at, at, at spot checks, yep. um, but we cross check that against NMI, which do it across a number of different That's localities. That's the National Measurements Institute. Yep. Yep. They do it at a number of different localities across the country. And they, they do it once once per second, yep. so they can actually they can actually monitor the drift. So we Got can it. we can compare that uh, one pulse per second drift uh, directly to the results from NMI, which are, which are published on the web for oh, everyone to see. Right. Okay. So all the data's there. Yeah. All the data's there. Right. For them. So how accurate? A lot of people want to know how accurate in quote marks the GPS system is. Can you uh, tell us about that? It's a hairy um, one. I it's know. a hairy one, but the time wise, it's uh, we. Time-wise, the GPS system can't be used as a reference right. because it's not it's not under any any single entity's control. It's 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 a group of satellites uh, that are all independent um, cesiums that are mm -hmm. that are monitored by the U.S. and the U.S. military. Um, so NASA doesn't accept uh, uh, the GPS as a standalone reference. So in Australia, it's the GPS is not considered it's, it's only, part of any traceable. No, standard. it's 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 only used as a, as a cross check, right. and the that one pulse per second drift between the GPS system and your own clock is what they what they what you use to determine how stable your reference is because they're using an unstable reference for, for want of a better word of the GPS system yep. um, and you're measuring it with different locations to give you that that comparison. Got it. Right. And they the they used to actually tweak or they can and they do can tweak, tweak the um, frequency of the, the. I don't know if they do it any any more, but it, it used to be it used to be regular for them to adjust the the, the cesium. Uh, cesium adjust, to the on, on each individual satellite or well as, a whole, um, as a whole? Well, I think I think individually. Uh, it's anecd it's anecdotal, so right, it's not. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's anecdotal that, that they have the ability to, to adjust the these things. So if if uh, a standard's adjusted regularly, then it's. Can't be used as a standard. It can't be used because no. no it's no, we <laughs> by talk, definition, we talk, talked about yesterday about the, that period. So we've got a start time and a finish time. Yep. Now someone's adjusting it in the in the in the meantime. You've lost all your. You've lost. You've, you've, you've lost, lost all your data. Yeah, that's it's right. gone. So yeah, so that's that's our clock <laughs> and system. And that's got a big distribution uh, amplifier on it. Yeah, well, it's not a high power. It's a, it's no, a low no, signal a, amplifier. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, we, the yeah. the output of the cesium is, is distributed through our network, so it's a, a house standard, and uh, it goes out to all our benches outside. Uh, the other side of the lab, and it's distributed in here as well. Got it. So our, our atomic reference is available across all our benches. Fantastic. Awesome work. These things you never power off? No. How long have they been powered up for? Um, that plant number 183 has been powered up since about 1994, I 94. think. 94. And 94. you've got backup generators, obviously, to um, keep we, the power we, going? We're hooked up to... They have their own... Battery. Oh, they've got board. battery internal. They've got a battery okay. here that's good right. for a short period of time. Got it. Um, but we uh, we're also hooked into uh, a UPS, which is a big big diesel generator at the back yep. of the building. So that that kicks in. So we, if it does kick in, is there any noticeable subtle change um, in the drift or, or reset character? Re I, could, does the drift I, reset? I couldn't I couldn't tell you. A metrologist might be able to. Oh. Uh, our, ch our, our chief metrologist, Les. Okay. Uh, Les, you home? <laughs> there's Les. Does he want to be on camera? Yeah, there's Les. He's the other metrologist. We're, we're, talk, we're talking about the, the cesium and what happens when the UPS cuts in outside, whether that, that impacts the stability of our cesium at all. If it does, it's so negligible we can't see it. You, you can't see it? No. Okay. Our, our drift rate on the cesiums 
parts to, to the tending 13. Right. 13, so that's, is that, as, is that the best possible in the world? That's really the best you can do. Well, that's that's the that's that's, 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 the, that's, the, standard. that's the SI standard. Right. Uh, so that's it's the transition, a hyperfine transition of the cesium yep. atom in a vacuum or within that magnetic is. field. Yeah. All right, Pete's going to tell us about um, the traceability the trace, tree. Traceability is it? tree for S parameters uh, within S -parameters. within Agilent Technologies. Uh, it's really tied to the physical dimensions and because quali the quality of the airlines that are used as references. Now these, these references uh, go down to 45 megahertz mm -hmm. and they're measured by, by laser interferometers. Yep. Um, it's a whole laboratory uh, in Santa Rosa that's devoted to them. And that places our Agilent network analyzer at the time of manufacturer, manufacture mm -hmm. at this point here. Right. All right, so this is, this is where the uh, calibration verification standards mm -hmm. that we use um, are used on our device our devices under test are here yep. All right. so if you look at the National Measurements Institute they use the electronic um, electrical uh, standards mm -hmm. in the in NIST to calibrate their network analyzers and right. subsequently provide traceability across the planet they're down here. That puts them down there. So that's NIST. All right. So that's where that's about where NIST are. <laughs> that's where. All right, so sorry, if you sorry. think NIST there's, are good there's, folks, there's NIST there. Yep. There's NIST oh, there. There they are. Yep. There's NIST there. Um, for vector and, and four port, we're talking vector and vector and analyzer. So there's NIST, NIST there on the traceability chart. Mm -hmm. This is our standards lab here. That's your standards lab. So you're better than NIST on. In theory, that's not a, not a, wanna, that's, that's not a statement I want to want to put state, not a statement I want to want to put on camera. Uh, yeah. I want to put on camera, but uh, <laughs> in many in many cases, uh, the tra because our our factory in Santa Rosa are higher up the traceability chart than NIST, yep. uh, just through that hierarchy. Um, in many cases, they are better than NIST at Santa Rosa. We don't claim to be better than NIST or NMI here. Uh, for a number that's of reasons. No, no, it's no, 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 no that's, that's we don't we don't claim to be be better than NMI or NIST. However, our trace traceability through Santa Rosa, our Santa Rosa hub uh, and factory is actually be better than NIST for return loss measurements and in many cases power emissions. Because and that's from 45 megahertz upwards up to 50 gigahertz. 50 gigahertz. Um, and I think they might be extending that, but I, I would have to look it up to find out. How how far do how far do customers go um, up in frequent? How far do what are some of the obscure applications? Do well, you know for the high we're frequency? We're selling um, vector network analyzers now in Australia for particular customers that are going to 110 gigahertz. So these are one mil one mil connectors. Uh, the yep. the 2.4 mil connectors um, that we use for 50 gigahertz are a challenge for older fellows like me and Liz. Mm -hmm. All right, because they're a very very fine connector. So when we get to when we get to have, having to start doing the one mil stuff, we're going to have to get a young apprentice and look over their shoulder. All right. So if we look at frequency and time measurement, so we can go from uh, from one millihertz to fifty gigahertz mm -hmm. with traceability. And if we look over this side of the chart here, all right, this is the our our time and frequency system is traceable to our primary standards, our fifty seventy one. Got it. For other for other. Um, items like power and attenuation, we go through different laboratories. We go through different national laboratories. Uh, for example, for attenuation, we are traceable for our RF power and attenuation chart actually goes up. We actually bypass, for attenuation, we bypass these cha chains and go directly to NPL. Got it. Um, my, from my understanding, NPL have got the best system available for doing attenuation on, on the planet. Yep. And so that's a national physics laboratory in, in UK. In the UK. All right. So that's that's one. That's one one trace traceability path we mm -hmm. have. We have another traceability path to NIST, uh, which is the National yep. Institute of Standards and Te Technology in the USA. Yes. We also go through Germany. For what? Mainly for um, power sensors. Uh, no, that's uh, that's for some light power sen light wave power sensors. Go to Germany. Um, and the way when you go into the, the, the calibration of some some of the sensors that they do in Germany, 
um, they go through the surface of the sensor almost pixel by pixel and give wow. you a, a map of its sensitivity. Um, and NML in Japan mm -hmm. and NMI in Australia. So all our measurements that we do, from the blue bits down where we're actually doing our measurements, yep. are all traceable up to these green bits, which are primary standards or national measurements laboratories. Wow.